So uh, today I'm going to show you um, a very easy way to make dissociation liquid from our concentrated uh, base. Okay, we have uh, three samples of our concentrated base with different uh, fragrance and uh, different color. Okay, so this one is uh, with lemon uh, fragrance and uh, with uh, green color. And this one is with uh, ginger fragrance with uh, a yellow color. And uh, so this one is uh, with one with uh, peach uh, fragrance and with this um, um, red and purple uh, mixed color. Okay, so the process is going to be very simple. Okay, you just need to add water into this concentrated base, um, like by seven times. Okay, yeah, let's do it. And if you add water in into it, you just need to shake it like for around one to two minutes. So now you can see the viscosity is there. And uh Okay, we're gonna do that. And uh, after after we shake it, we're gonna leave it and for setting like for maybe 10, 15 minutes um, to remove the bubbles and uh, we can see the viscosity uh, later and also we're gonna test the cleaning performance of this uh, 3D dishwashing liquid that we made from our concentrated base like within two, three minutes, uh, everything's ready. Uh, Okay, we're going to come back to test the viscosity and uh, forming and cleaning performance. Okay, uh, it's been like one hour uh, since we made this um, dishwashing liquid from our concentrated base by seven times uh, dilution with water. Um, so we have, see after the, after we set it for one hour also, um, the bubble is gone, okay, so it becomes, it became uh, very clear and transparent. Uh, this one is a bit dark, uh, we cannot see very clearly, but these two we can see through. Uh, we can see through the distortion liquid, okay, uh, very clearly we can see through it. And uh, this one also, um, this one with lemon uh, fragrance and uh, green color, we can see through this, okay. Um, so now let's um, see its viscosity, okay? Let me pull it out. Okay. 
So we can see it's the viscosity is very high and um, it's very thick. Okay, thick and uh, but this kind of thick it's not um, uh, rustic. It is not um, yeah. It is very natural. It is also free flowing. It's not uh, like this kind of. Uh, uh, dishwashing liquids um, that get the viscosity from the thickness from HPMC or HEC. Okay, this one is the thickness is only from the surfactant, so that's why it is uh, free flowing but uh, thick. Okay, and uh, we're gonna test its cleaning performance in the kitchen to see its uh, forming and the cleaning power. So now uh, let's make this uh, dish, uh, this plate, uh, dirty with this uh, very oily um, sauce. Okay, so it's very, very oily. It's very oily, and also the odor is very strong with a um, lot of spicy peps and um, oils and stuff. And also, let's make this uh, uh, towel dirty with this um, sauce. We're gonna um, test its cleaning performance. Okay. So. We're gonna start with this uh, plate. So this is the dishwasher liquid that we made from our concentrate base by seven times dilution. Um, okay, the see it's very thick. See the foaming, it's very high foaming. So it's very clean. Uh, so now let's uh, wash this uh, tower. It's very oily, dirty cloud tower. So now before we add this, um, our dishwashing liquid, let's try uh, only by water. It's not uh, going. It's not going. It's very stubborn. Uh, stains and oils. Okay, so let's add some uh, of our dishwashing liquid to see its cleaning performance. See, immediately uh, the oils and stains are, are going. It's working very well, it's cleaning very well, and uh, now let's see it. See the foam is still there. So, okay, and uh, you can see this foam in this way also. See.
after three times of flushing now now there's no foam but see the foam is very very nice really high foaming okay